to the cyclist, gold medalist cyclist in the studio, Philip Hines. Of course, who won the men's team sprint and triple Olympic champion, Meg Clancy, in the men's team pursuit. Good morning to you. Morning. Uh, are you a little bit disappointed Ed, that you're not on the on the party plane on the way back from Rio? A little bit, yeah. Looking at it and talking about all the champagne, and <laughs> I, just, I know it'll be going off in there. There'll be such a will good it? time, and it will, yeah. I don't like to think of the things that'll be going on. But, um. No, go on, tell us what sort of things are going to be going. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> know uh, you, you were just saying to us though before we came back, Philip, that you bo you boys had to fly back economy. Yeah, the flight was really busy, and uh, they had no space to upgrade us to business class. There was so no space. I flew uh, economy, but I had a little bit of flex space, so it was all right. Can't you just flash that gold medal? Doesn't that get you upgraded for the rest of your lives? I've, I've tried to. On the, <laughs> <laughs> they try to check in. I say, oh, you know, I've won the gold medal. But, uh, <laughs> Do you sort of check in, put your yeah. passport down, and the gold medal next to the passport? And say, Pretty oh, much, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They said they've been really busy, so they've been oh. looking after us, so it's been good. Good. So what has it been like since you landed then? Do, uh, was, you know, I'm sure you had people there to meet you, and what have the last few days been like for you? Well, as soon as we got off the plane in Manchester, um, there was about 50 paparazzi waiting outside, which is unusual. I think a lot of them were there for Jason Kenny, to be honest, but still, <laughs> it made you feel important for a moment. And uh, you know, since you get back, uh, first thing I noticed about my house is the gate was all decorated and balloons Aww. and celebration size. And, my whole living room was full of golden balloons, actually, so uh, it's Amazing. been different since I've been home. Amazing. It's nice just catching up with friends and family and people you've neglected over the last 18 months. Because so, uh. we kind of forget, I think one of the things, Philip, is that, and, and sitting watching, you guys make it look so easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's an expectation now, because you've all been so successful for a number of games, we forget, as Ed was saying, the commitment and the demands on your time in training means that you don't see your friends and family, particularly for, for the period in the run-up, in order to get one of those, and we don't necessarily appreciate that yeah. watching. In the last four years have been hard. You know, when you're struggling and training, you think you're never going to win that Olympic gold medal, and you, like, you'd start losing races, yeah. and you st start thinking about yourself, am I going to be there on the top again? But you know, it's all worth it in the end when you win the Olympic gold. And when you're there, I can imagine the atmosphere is extraordinary, but is it almost a bit overwhelming? Because you've got so many athletes at their peak in the same area. Is it almost a bit like, ooh, you know, overwhelming? It must be hard to stay focused that you can beat the other athletes. But you race those guys pretty much every mm. year. You do mm. World Cups, World Championships, and you know you're close to them. But we, like for us as a team, we've been uh, behind for a bit. We've been six in the World Championships because we've been trying to replace Sir Chris Hoy. And Callum Skinner really stepped up and... Uh, at the Olympic Games, so it's been really fantastic to see him yeah. stepping up as well. Uh, for the layperson, Ed, watching your two sports, they seem pretty similar. I'm sure they're not similar at all, but mm. there's, as a team of you, you're racing another team around the track against the clock. Uh, what, what are the, the differences between the team sprint and the team pursuit? So, I guess the obvious thing is the team sprint lasts three laps. Um, well, how long does it take? 42, 43 seconds? 43, wow. Yeah, 43. The team pursuit, 42, which... Yeah. The team pursuit which I ride in is another three minutes on top of that, so it's three minutes 50. And um, it basically requires a completely different athlete. And if I had to go at doing Phil's job, I'd be completely useless. I guess the easy way of looking at it is Phil is made purely out of fast twitch muscle fibers. He's got a, a kick on him, acceleration like nobody else. But, um, you know, even a decent club rider could probably get rid of him on a climb. <laughs> and I'm a little bit the opposite, you know. We, we've got a little bit of speed and a little bit of a sprint, but really we're just endurance athletes, right. and uh, it's all about heart and lungs and fitness. So, so which is harder? Uh, endurance, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all these boys do I lift a few weights. Yeah. Oh. Agree with that. Mine, mine is more like a 100-meter sprint in athletics. Yeah. You just have to go from zero to 100, and then just be the fastest. It's amazing, though. Four years training for 42, 43 seconds, mm. that moment. Just make or break. Make or break. Mm. You need to make sure you're on it, uh, otherwise you've lost it. Well, look, you were both on it. You didn't and we lose are it. So extraordinarily proud. I hope you appreciate just the support that you were getting back home and since you've come home and just bask in that glory for as long as you possibly can. Because I'm sure you're both going to be looking at 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Too right. See, there's a committee. Where do you keep your medals, by the way? I just in a room, a com uh, drawer in my computer room. Sorry. Yeah. Just a drawer in your computer room. room. Yeah. Since Beijing, I haven't bothered framing them or doing anything, but I'll get there what? one day. Oh, yeah, 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 you found me not going. Come on, you've got to do something with this. I keep in my sock drawer. You're in your oh, sock drawer. Oh, I love that. Love that. <laughs> that. You not leave That's where everything valuable goes. You should leave them in the okay. downstairs loo so everyone can nip in and then just try them on in the mirror surreptitiously. <laughs> yeah, and then take, take a out. selfie. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not the real ones, Lovely though. Lovely to chat to you. <laughs> Philip, thank you so much Don't for coming have ben in. Rounds, Ed, thank you so now much. Now that you know that. I can't tell you how proud we are. It's just an absolute delight to have genuine bona fide heroes in the studio. Thank you, guys. Thanks.
It is tough to come fourth, but you've also got to look on paper. If you weren't even expected to make a final, then a fourth could be deemed as a, good, course, a good result. Because yeah. it's a big wide world out there, and, it, and the Olympics is a pinnacle. So a fourth isn't really a failure, no. but to the sportsman, it is a little bit like, oh, it's so it's close to It's crushing, especially, I'm guessing, if you're running towards the end of your career. Yeah.